My dear young people of St. Lucia, it seems strange to address you amidst this health pandemic, which is creating great socio-economic depression throughout the world. I acknowledge the growing anxiety, fear, and panic among young people during the COVID-19 outbreak, and encourage you to remain calm and resolute in maintaining the recommended hygienic practices and social physical distancing to mitigate the spread of the virus. Every year, the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports, in collaboration with the National Youth Council, observe and celebrate April as Youth Month in St. Lucia. The theme for this year is Pouvoir Jeunesse, the power of youth. As you are aware, this unprecedented global health pandemic has canceled, postponed, or suspended major events in St. Lucia and the rest of the world. This also includes all Youth Month activities and events and the much anticipated Youth Awards. However, this does not mean that we cannot convey a message of hope and resilience to the young people of this nation. I take this opportunity to recognize, to acknowledge, and to salute the excellent contribution that young people are making, both here and abroad, to the development of our nation. I want to assure the young people of St. Lucia that whilst we forego the celebrations of Youth Month, the fact remains that the majority of young people are contributing to the development and to the success of this island. I want to applaud all the young people who volunteer in schools, in clubs, in groups, in organizations like the National Youth Council and the District Youth and Sports Council, in faith-based groups, uniform and service groups. The youth development work that you practice often goes unnoticed, but let me declare that your contribution is important and we appreciate it. Young people also contribute to various viable sectors of our economy, namely the agriculture, the fishing, and the retail trade. The provision of services and are also the trailblazers in the green and orange economy. During this crisis, I want to salute the members of the Cadet Corps who have been integral in assisting at the NEMO headquarters, as well as the Youth Emergency Action Committee, which is also helping NEMO in delivering packages, answering the telephone, among other duties. There are many other youth organizations and youth advocates playing a pivotal role in mitigating the effects of COVID-19 in communities across our island. I encourage you to continue this critical and commendable effort and thank you immensely for your service. The Ministry of Youth Development and Sports is working on a virtual youth development platform with the aim of helping young people engage in discussion during this time of limited social interaction with their peers. We are also considering the provision of psychosocial support to, to the youth as this pandemic has suddenly taken a toll on their emotional and mental health. The Ministry is also in discussion with the international and regional organizations on methods to bring relief to young people, and that will be communicated when things are in place. We are also in discussion with young people in trying to develop an e-sports program in St. Lucia. I want to encourage young people to get the information from trusted sources. Example, the National Emergency Management Organization, NIMO, the Government Information Service of St. Lucia, GIS, the Chief Medical Officer, CMO, and other reputable individuals and institutions, and to practice the hygienic protocols, including hand washing, social and physical distancing. As a gesture during Youth Month, 
The Ministry of Youth Development and Sports will be assisting in the fight to reduce the spread of the coronavirus, the COVID-19, by distributing reusable face masks to young people across the island. We want young people to model the behavior of wearing these face masks to signal their commitment to halt the transmission of COVID-19. If you will be living in your home, please wear a face mask. Your workers will sensitize the communities at the appropriate time of distribution, which I'm certainly, which I think certainly might be next week. Young people still need to look out for each other as much as possible during this unprecedented health pandemic. You can either message or call to, a, or call to check on a neighbor or a friend to see if they are okay. You can also provide them with some food if necessary. I believe that ingenuity and innovation will emerge from this crisis and young people will take this nation to higher levels of digital breakthroughs. We are a resilient people and we will overcome this period of uncertainty and become a stronger nation after this has ended. The Lord is our nation's fortress and strength. He is present and help in times of trouble. May the Lord continue to bless the young people of Fair Helen. Stay safe, be good. I thank you.